put a freaking gun to my head and I will not purchase that freaking stinky curly rat. Like, I'm not kidding. Hey everyone, what's up? It's me, Dennis. So, I want to be doing something um, called the Honest Star Stable Tag. I came up with this tag um, a few days ago and, you know, I actually contemplated about it, if I really want to do it or not, and I do actually. Um, you're invited to do this tag if you want to, everyone is invited. Um, through this tag, I want to encourage the Star Stable community to be as honest as possible, but also um, in a polite way, so I'm not encouraging disrespectful manner, um, I'm just encouraging people to be, you know, to feel free to express their opinions without feeling judgment. So um, let's get right into it. I know I'm gonna be, you know, offending some people. Anyway, let's get right into it. The first question is most underrated star stable horse. No, that's not the question. The first question is what is the most overrated star stable horse? Also, all these answers are coming from a subjective point of view. These are all just my opinions. And if you're gonna make this tag, you're gonna be able to, you know, again, express your opinions and yours alone. And all of your answers and opinions are valid. So what do I think is the most overrated star stable horse, right? Oh, people are gonna get so upset about this. But in my opinion, the starter horse. Now, I know that, you know, we started with this little rat, um, we have memories with it and whatsoever, but I'm like, no. If I had the option to sell this horse, I would not even think twice. I would just go ahead and do it, you know what I mean? But I can't. I cannot sell this freaking stinky ratatouille rat. Um, I do think it looks quite cute, but in the same time, I feel like it's not... Like, this should not be as venerated as it is, you know what I mean? <laughs> but this is just my opinion. Like, I know there are people that have started playing this game, like 2011, where you only had, like, your starter horse and all that kind of stuff, and I understand that. But in the same time, um, this coming from a player that's, you know, um, experienced the game when we had the Quarters 2 and um, the Frisians, um, because I joined in 2015, I'm like, no, like, this horse it should not be as praised as it is. All right, the next question is, what is the most underrated star stable horse in your opinion? I think the Irish Cobbs um, is what I'm gonna say, just because there's not really much wrong with them. They're really nice, and I feel like people do not ride them as much anymore. And like, they're really nice horses, the coats are nice, the animations are really nice. Well, they do be looking like dinosaurs sometimes, but like, you know, that's fine, all our horses um, resemble with a different animal, and that's just how it's gonna be like, at least that's how I see it. I have this issue where I see even people in real life, and I'm like, you look like a freaking rhinosaur. And I cannot unsee that. Like, I look at people in real life, and like, I associate them with animals, and this is also with, like, Star Stable horses, like, you guys know this about me, because I always compare them to different animals, but, like, this horse, you cannot tell me doesn't like a hippo. Like, low-key, this horse is a freaking hippo, you know what I mean? That's not a bad thing, it's just what it resembles with. And so, yeah, the Irish Cops is my answer. They are really decent and nice horses, yet they're so, you know, underrated. Like, not many people ride them. But in the same time, I understand why. You know, we have horses that are way better than these big boys. So, yeah, the Irish Cops is what I'm gonna say. The third question, what is your favorite horse breed from the game? So, the Arabian horses... I don't know guys, there is something with these horses, like look at the muscles, I cannot, the animations, the idle animations and everything about them, I just, I adore these horses and the coats, the amount of details they have in the fur, I also bought the Urbicana one um, on my other account yesterday, and then we have Bolas here, the name is freaking revolutionary, um, the coat is insane, the animations are really really nice on these horses, I'm really really happy with how Star Stables made these horses. Um, they are definitely my favorite horse breed. The Quarter Horses um, and the Yorvik Wormbloods and the English Thoroughbreds have been like my favorite horses for a very, very long time, but the Arabian Horses have definitely taken the crown, if you know what I mean. Yeah, no, there's like, you cannot tell me these horses are not freaking amazing. The next question is, what is your least favorite horse breed? I don't have one. I did have one, I think, but I sold it on my other account, um, but the Curly Horses, man. Put a freaking gun to my head, and I will not purchase that freaking stinky curly rat. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, I choose death, you know what I'm saying? Like, if there was... If I had to choose between death and curly horses, you best believe i choose death. I'm exaggerating, of course, but no, those horses are just, like, freaking... I don't have the words, you know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes their faces might be cute, but if you look at the body and, like, even the way the texture of the fur is made is, like, a huge failure. Like, I understand Star Stable wanted to go for the curly hair, 
um, for the vibe, you know, for that vibe, but they could have done a better job. For example, now if they were to like remake the curly horses, for sure they would be nice because now Star Stable knows how to make the fur texture look really, really nice. Like, look at these Arabians, look at the fur texture, that's just freaking insane, right? Um, yeah, so answer curly horses. If you like curly horses, that's totally fine, but I still think that, you know. Uh... The next question is what do you think Star Stable does the worst? Um, in my opinion, it is keeping the players engaged in the game. And that is because of the lack of things to do in the game, right? Like you just freaking train in this game. You just train and you buy new horses. Like this game has become a how many horses can you own and have them train to the max game? You know what I'm saying? Like you just buy horses and train them. That's freaking sad. Um, and it's really sad because this game has so much potential. Like there's so many things they could do with this game and make it so much better. Um, I'm still waiting for the racing system to be updated because I know they want to. They're working on that. Um, that would definitely change things for me because I've been like a huge racer back in like 2017, 2018. Uh, I used to be like I used to race all the time. I had a freaking champ schedule as my locker screen like i didn't want to miss a single champ i used to love racing so much i knew all the shortcuts and star stables also changed the way that the horses interact with the ground so you cannot really get those boost jumps anymore because the horse doesn't really go underneath that well anymore under the ground and you don't really get that jump boost anymore there are a lot of changes that have been made to the way the horses interact with the ground and with obstacles and all that which has changed the um, racing experience for me the sixth question, what do you think Star Stable does the best? Um, I think horses, honestly, like look at these Arabians. They have really stepped up their game when it comes to horse coats and horse animations. Um, I'm really pleased with the way they make the horses now. Honestly, when I first saw the trailer of the Percheron horses, Percheron, whatever, when I first saw the trailer of them, I was low-key disappointed. I was like, they look like freaking falcons, you know what I mean? I mean, they still do look like a freaking bird. You know, like the way their head shape looks like, they look like birds, but I'm not disliking them. I really like the perch on horses and um, I was surprised in a good way when I saw them in game. So much better than the way they look like in the trailer and in videos and pictures. The seventh question, where do you think Star Stable has evolved the most in the past few months? Again, horses, um, you know, like they brought, where is it? Where is the freaking Dalmatian dog? So they made this in December, I believe, right? We can all agree this is a monstrosity when it comes to animations. Um, the coat is nice, that's why I bought this horse. But, like, the coat is... I, I love this coat so freaking much. I love the um, leopard Apusa coat. Um, so they made this in December, I believe. This horse, which is not even a horse, it's a dog. This dog is a mess, right? And now, like, a few months later, they made this they made this, right? They made the freaking golem ponies. Like, these are just something else. Then they made um, the Pertron horses. Um, they also made the Finn horses. Like, they literally stepped up their horse um, creating abilities really fast. The next question, what was the hardest thing for you to fulfill or achieve as a newbie? This is gonna be so embarrassing. So I found out about this game because one of my real life friends told me about it, right? And after playing a bit, I got Lifetime Star Rider and then I went to the Riding Hall Arena to um, do the races from there. I kid you not, spent like a freaking hour trying to finish the um, race from the Riding Hall and I just couldn't do it. I could not do it. I could not do it. So then what I had to do was basically have my friend come over that told me about Star Stable finish the race for me because it was like a quest thing and I couldn't move on with the quest line uh, with the quest storyline so that was a pain like I did not know how to move the um, angles correctly when jumping so I would like you know jump over an obstacle and then it would show me the arrow that there is like the next obstacle is on the left or on the right and I couldn't move my screen in time and I would just fail the race all the time. That was that's embarrassing, but I couldn't I couldn't finish. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do the riding hall races. I needed to have my star stable friend, that's also a real life friend, um, you know, finish the race for me, which was embarrassing, but it is what it is. I'm really curious as to what was a very hard thing for you to achieve as a newbie. The next question: What did you think of Star Stable when you first joined versus what do you think about it now? 
So I joined this game in 2015. Am I right gamers? 2015, that's, wow, six years. That's, that's quite a while, isn't it? When I first joined this game, it felt like there were endless opportunities in this game. Like the world for me, it seemed insanely big and I was like, I will never be able to discover all the areas, all the worlds from the game because it felt so big, right? Um, and I don't know, this game felt full of mystery for me, um, full of new things to discover and do in the game. Like I literally felt like there was, like you couldn't get bored of this game. I would just wake up, get on source table and then go to bed like 1 a.m. Like I would be on this game 24 seven. Um, I used to be addicted to this game. So I really, really enjoyed this game. To me, it felt like it had um, endless things to do, that I would never get bored of it, that, you know, this game is constantly bringing out new stuff to keep the people entertained. Now, what do I think about it? It's still a nice game. I still like it. It's a horse game. How could I not like it, right? But I don't have the same perspective upon it anymore. Like, I feel like this game is lacking so many things to do and once you discover the whole the whole world, the whole Jorvik land, it gets really, really sad. Really lonely and boring, you know? Um, but I still enjoy the game, like, I'm still playing it, I still like it. It has horses in it, I love horses, I will never, I will never stop liking horses. Um, therefore, I'll probably never stop playing this game. I mean, that's not really true, come on, I cannot play this game my entire life. The last question is, does Star Stable impact your real life in any way, and if so, how? So, of course it did, um, you know, in 2015 I did not know that many things about horses and when I joined the game I had learned so many things, um, you know, from horse coats to like horse gates to disciplines and a lot of other stuff. I met a lot of passionate people about horses which changed everything for me. That was, that's really cool to get in touch with people that have the same hobby and passion as you do. Um, yeah, it definitely changed my real life, it uh, definitely changed the way that I view horses, I love horses even more now. Um, you know, being around horses, you know, collecting model horses in real life, playing horse games, it definitely makes you be more engaged with the whole horse world. And of course the whole YouTube thing changed my life completely because of Star Stable, like I have this channel that's literally based on, you know, mainly on Star Stable and the fact that I could earn a bit of money from um, having this YouTube channel definitely changed my life for the better and I'm ever so grateful for that. So yeah, those were all the questions. This is the honest or stable tag. Feel free to do it if you want to. Um, I want to hear your opinions and what you think. Like these are questions that are not like cheesy ones like, what server are you on? Um, I mean, there are some cheesy questions like what's your favorite horse breed, but you know, I'm actually curious as to what your favorite horse breed is, I want to know about that. And I want to know what was the hardest thing for you to achieve as a newbie. Alright, so those are all the questions. Feel free to, you know, do this tag again. Um, and if you're doing it, then please tag me so I can, you know, check it out. And yeah, that was it. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please like it, subscribe, ring the bell, and I'll see you gamers in my next one. Bye everyone!